So today uh, we will talk about the basic first. Eh? We will look at your the title itself, Bio Nanotechnology. This title of your course. So we will try to dissect one by one. Eh? So for today we try to dissect this technology part. Okay, the technology. So technology. What is technology? What is the definition of technology? Huh? Anyone? If I ask this in the online class, nobody will answer. But now I can see people. Huh? I can see people. I can pick you. Okay, by the way, when I said uh, in the briefing class, there are bonus mark. That bonus mark will happen only if I said, okay, bonus time. Okay, answer this question. But if I just ask you like this, what is technology? There are bonus mark. But at least I know you participate and then that can affect a little bit in terms of, for example, let's say you got like 49 out of 100. Then I can up a little bit to what we call to 50 to make you pass because they are like mark for the participation also. Eh? So um, uh, when I ask like that, it doesn't. You don't need to be afraid. Uh, just say uh, whatever come to your mind. It's okay just to engage with the participation because uh, two years in online class, you you know how bored is that, right? So now I have the list of your name. So if no one volunteer, I just ask lah. Okay, by the way, the bonus mark only happen when you volunteer. When I say bonus time and people volunteer. If, let's say, uh, when I say bonus time, but then there are no one volunteer and then I pick the people, for example, Umi, then Umi will not get any mark lah. Even though you, correct. So make sure uh, you clear about that. Sir. Okay, so the technology yeah. Uh, the definition maybe is not necessarily uh, you need to remember word by word, but tell me what is the example of technology? Pen. 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 Okay. How that is technology? Because it's something that humans create to help us in uh, recording. Okay. So the pen, normally when you see the pen, especially the ball pen that you have, to make that ball very small is itself a technology because you can carve a very big thing for example the what you call the the, the, the the table like this you can just take uh, the knife or whatever carve with your hand but if you want to carve something very small that you can be you can put on your pen like ball pen that's required technology lah how people create this uh, small ball so that it can keep rolling when you write because sometimes you can put a ball on the pen, but then it's not rolling. You need to make sure the distance, the, the, the gap between the ball and also the side of your pen enough to make the fluid flow and so on. So technology is basically the use of uh, scientific knowledge. So let me put here. Lah. That's why I use. No, I think I have this thing. Okay, so that's the thing. So technology, when we talk about technology, is about uh, normally... Uh, uh, two or three things lah. It's about techniques, techniques. For example, manipulation of matter, fabrication. Um, for example, baking a paper like this paper. Eh? This also a technology. If you try to make it yourself, try to make it lah. I mean, you know, paper is made from the cellulose, right? Wood pulp. Okay, from the cellulose. Okay, from this thing. Uh, normally, if I use like online, I don't need to change the marker. Because it's easy because this. So, for example, you take the what we call the tree to make a paper out of this thing. To make a paper of this thing, that is a technology by itself, lah. Because if you try to do it by yourself, you will see there are a lot of problem. So after this, when you go back, try to make a paper, just small paper, using whatever uh, tree uh, that you found, lah. Meaning that you try to chop a tree, and then try to make a paper. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Try, uh, try to chop it and make a paper. So that itself, because the paper, to make this white paper, is not easy. Eh? It's not easy. Because this white paper, if you think about it, the tree itself is not white. It's, uh, apa color? Brown. Brown, eh? brown. So you need to remove the brown part. The brown is a lignin. Eh? And the tree, the brown part, the brown part, the brown part, the brown part, the brown part is basically a lignin. Uh, I need to, uh, Enter also some uh, chemical because you are chemical engineer, eh? you are biotechnology, biochemical engineer. So the brown part is a lignin. Okay, so the lignin is attached to the cellulose because this paper is a cellulose made from cellulose, the white part. So you need to remove first the brown part. 
Okay, so they use what I call uh, chemical extraction to remove this brown part, and then you get uh, like what we call the 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 white part of the tree, and this white part you need to digest it, because you cannot use this hard white part. You need to digest it. So digesting the white part itself is technology. How long you need to digest? What do you use? So that digestion normally is used uh, is done by the alkali digestion lah, uh, alkali digestion. And then uh, after digest, you get a pulp. After digest, let me put here. Um, the so slow eh? Let's see, eh? <laughs> so okay, so brown part, and then you get the cellulose part, eh? cellulose part, and then you digest it, digest it, and then you get the pulp. You get the pulp. You get the pulp. Okay, so this pulp, you need to make sure it's not too. Uh, too thicker, too thick or too what we call we call huh? too small, too small or not too small and not too thick, because in order to make this into paper, you need the right consistency lah. Because if the pulp is too big, is that very rough, then your paper will not be very what we call smooth like this. So that itself is technology. So we call that you learn in the separation uh, uh, class. They call it homogenization lah. Homo Homogenization. It's basically a blender lah. The concept of blender. You blend that part in order to make it small. So the technique to make something small is a technology by itself. And making things smaller even to the nano level, that we call nanotechnology. Okay? You technology, you apply the knowledge. Huh? Okay? You apply knowledge. For example, the knowledge of uh, uh, what you call uh, the scale, knowledge of nano, micro, and so on. That's a knowledge, the science. But to reduce to that uh, level, you need a process. That process is a technology. For example, technique is part of the te uh, technology. Lah. And then once you get the uh, right consistency, then you make a paper. So to make a paper, you need to filter it. Lah. You need to filter it. The filter that you use to filter the paper must be uh, right, uh, right, right. Having right uh, pour lah, for, because filter is basically you pour something on the filter and then something coming out right. So you don't want the what we call the this thing, the the pop going to. That's why you cannot make us too small, okay? And if let's say you can create a very good filter, nano filter, that also uh, problematic because nano filter to make a filter that have a very small pour require cost. The more smaller you go, the more expensive will be the cost of manufacturing it. That's why nanotechnology, even though the sound is bombastic, nano, 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 nano fiber, nano this, but um, when you see around you, uh, it's very little application revolve around nanotechnology because still we are fighting about the cost. To do that, you need to cost. For example, uh, microscope, eh? you want to see bacteria. Normal microscope is very cheap. But if you want to see the virus much, much smaller than bacteria, you need to use another type of microscope. We call it electron microscope. So there are um, the sign of electron, the sign of uh, not using the light to illuminate the sample is different. So that's why when you go to the nano scale, because we will learn about bio nano technology, nano there, everything will be expensive. If you do FYP or if you do research project, let's say some of you want to do like master, PhD, or even going for research position, doing for nano research, typically you will use, you will deal with the expensive material because with, with uh, complexity come the price. Okay? So this, you, make the, uh, you filter, you filter, you get a paper. You get a paper. And that paper, normally, when you go, come straight from the wood, normally it's not white like this. This is white because they put something. They put zinc, zinc oxide. You know, bedak, talcum tu. They put zinc oxide, zinc oxide, titanium, uh, not zinc oxide, titanium oxide. Titanium oxide. And normally titanium oxide is a, a nanoparticle. This titanium is basically nanoparticle that also uh, used to whiten your food. Okay, it's a nano, it's a metal particle, uh, zinc oxide. Uh, you can see this also in the sunscreen and whatever lah. So you put there, and that's why you get this whitish paper. Hey, you already got or not this? The 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 what you call the? Already pass around, around right? Okay. So you get this uh, white paper, and also 
once you get white pepper, it's not uh, yet uh, done. You need to make sure the grammage, whatever the, the standard is uh, followed. Because when you want to sell the pepper, because technology is applied science, you want people to use it. If you sell the pepper, but the pepper is maybe one day you sell uh, this thick pepper, another day you sell this uh, very thin pepper, so people will not buy for you because there are no consistency. So you have to work with the standard, standard, standard in order to get consistency, lah, consistency, and then only then you can sell your product. If not, you cannot sell lah, because people want consistency. You come to the class, you know it's 10 a.m. And then next uh, month, next uh, Wednesday, next, next, Monday, next Tuesday, Tuesday or Monday? Monday, Monday, Monday. Eh? Next Monday, you come at 10, 10 a.m., you know it's Bayunano. And then coming uh, Wednesday, 10 a.m., Bayunano. So human like consistency. That's why when you want to sell something later on, when you uh, graduate, you want to be like a Shopee seller, whatever, make sure it's consistent. Lah. And you know, Shopee seller is... Uh, if you know how to deal uh. um, So you might ask Why I tell this thing This, uh, I mean It's just like uh, ram Am I just rambling around I mean, this class is about bio nano But why I talk about this uh, nanotechnology Make paper and so on Because I can make a question like this I can make a question for your quiz like this Your title of this course is bio technology Please explain, please describe, please story one uh, example of technology. So you can use this. So I can create the question like that. Huh? Because remember, this is elective course. It's not core course. Core course is different. Core course, if I teach core course, for example, I teach math. I need to follow the syllabus point by point, bullet by bullet. But elective is more about uh, uh, to widen your horizon only. So this is a thing that... Uh, I might or might ask in the uh, your exam and so on. So the way how I ask the question in the quiz or in the final or in the midterm is based on what I teach only. So whatever not, I'm not teaching, then they are not no nila, not will not be in the test lah. So this is the I just give you the the feel and not the feel. I mean the idea what you should expect in my question later on, because at the end of the day. Learning to assess whether you learn or not is to test what you have what you have learned. Lah. If I test you something that I'm not teaching you, then it's not proper. Lah. So don't worry about the, for example, previous class I talked about the books about bio nanotechnology. Don't worry about that. Lah. Whatever come in your quiz or this, exam, whatever, coming from what I say in the class, I show like that. Okay, uh, so what else? The example of technology. Phone. Siapa nama? Siapa huh? Fati. Phone. Okay, so phone is also example of technology. Yeah? So we can see yeah, uh, the technology, saya baca je lah. Technology is the use of scientific knowledge. Let me put here lah. So the keyword ah, huh? technology. Technology is basically the use of scientific knowledge scientific knowledge scientific knowledge um, uh, for practical for purpose of practical application practical uh, application so this practical application can be in term of process in term of process this part can be in term of uh, what we call process Process or maybe uh, what we call uh, equipment, equipment or maybe a system. System. Eh? Example of process is the one that I show you lah. I mean that the one that I show you making uh, things smaller and smaller. Uh, same like uh, Hakim said, uh, the the ball pen, the round ball pen. How to make that? That is process lah. Example is making paper lah. Making paper lah. So equipment, uh, like Safan said, is uh, phone lah, phone. Phone, example, system, example, is internet. Internet is a system lah, internet. So that is the definition of technology, scientific. It must be based on the scientific knowledge lah. Must be based in scientific knowledge. If not, uh, we don't call it uh, technology yet lah. Normally lah, we, we call technology, if it's based, this is basis lah, basis. 
is based on scientific knowledge. For example, phone. Eh? Uh, Safa Fatih said phone is the example of technology. So it's based on what? What is the basis of the phone? What is the basis of the phone? Huh? How about it? Wave. Wave. Okay. So the basis of the phone is basically you try to transmit something on the air because now it's wireless, right? Previously you see the line and so on. It's, the idea is to transmit something on the air from you to your receiver. But how to do that? How to do that? I mean that how it's not like you transmit your voice because if you talk your phone here and then your friend in Kuantan or in Terengganu, it's not like your voice will, I mean, the, the actual voice will go travel there. The voice will convert it to something else. So we will learn about that later. But first we need to uh, learn a little bit about the, how to read the scientific knowledge because normally when you try to, uh, what we call to base a technology on the scientific knowledge, you need to know how to read. Eh? Uh, know how to read at least two things. Lah. The units, and also need to know how to read uh, uh, the notation. Lah, notation. Okay? You might ask, you might say that, oh, lah, this is oh, lah, benda simple, kan? unit, kan? takkan tak tahu. Tapi benda, uh, this thing, the small, small thing like this, is what make, uh, what student make a lot of mistakes. Because this bio nanotechnology, they are calculation. Eh? There will be calculation in your exam. So most students doesn't score in this part. Even though this unit and notation, notation meaning that like um, like the prefix letter I show lah, the prefix like nano, how much, ten to the power of what. So they know the unit. They know how to write a notation. Notation is basically the what, the prefix lah, the prefix. When we use the word like. Uh, like what, uh, like nano, mega, whatever, so what So they know all this, they can remember that thing. But my style, when I uh, ask in the question, it's not like I will ask you what is the unit, what is name five unit, name five notation, that's not my style. The way how I ask is basically to, for me, for me to see whether you know how to use the unit and notation or not. For example, uh, for example, um, convert this, uh, length into angstrom uh, like that so that's the question lah. so more about application of what you learn rather than remembering there are there are times that i will my question will be about memorization there are times because we need to give question that's easy also the easy question is about memorization but um, the medium question is about apply for example convert the, converting the unit the hard question is about normally open-ended lah open-ended and more Deep uh, calculation lah. So let's talk about the unit first. Huh? Have you heard about the SI? Huh? SI. We go basic. Huh? We go basic lah. Uh, simple, simple je. Because I think uh, people. Uh, I mean, most of graduate they learn a lot of complicated thing, but then they forgot and they cannot master the the basic itself yet. So master the basic first, and then we can go uh, further lah. So the unit, have you heard about the SI? What is SI? Azim, nama you Azim. SI apa SI? International standard. Ah, uh, they uh, international standard, uh, but in French lah. In French, system international lah. So that is SI. So how many SI unit? How many SI unit there are? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Kilogram. Meter, second, lagi? Joule. Joule, lagi? Huh? What? I just write the first. Anyone? So my example of unit. Mole. Mole. What is it? Any unit? Kelvin. Kelvin. Lagi? Siapa nama saya lupa itu? Uh, Erika, Ampere. Sebab saya saja buat kecil sebab saya nak tengok dapat nampak tak dekat kamera saya tu. Dia nampak tak Erika? Nampak? Nisa, Saida. Saida Nisa. Saya lupa dua-dua ni. Saida. Nisa. Belakang Nisa juga. Eh, Iman. 
Man, you pakai mas saya tak pasti. Yang ni yang pakai ni siapa? Saida. Saida Nisa Iman. Okey. Uh, Iman, lagi apa? Hah? Kolom. Kolom, kolom C lah, kolom C. Kolom, kolom whatever. Okey, so basically uh, as you can see when I ask um, there are a lot of uh, answer lah but uh, for SI unit they are base unit mean that the base the basis of everything so there are only 7 SI unit lah only 7 base unit so eh apa gambar telefon hello slide saya ada 3 je 1, 2, 3 itu je lah so, jangan risau don't, don't focus on slide anyway about the units lah there are 7 SI unit lah 7 base SI unit Okay So the rest is just a derivative So example of base unit is this eh? Kg Meter Second uh, Kelvin Ampere Mole And another one is Candela So let me put Candela Cat lah Cat Candela Okay so basically uh, Kg is basically you know Kg Tak payahlah ni Macam lah Kg is basically about uh, mass, eh? mass, not weight. Eh? Weight is different. Mass is uh, the amount of atom inside your the, the thing lah. When you say weight, is basically you take into account the gravity. That's why when you they use mass as a base unit, not weight, because weight when you go to moon is different. So they need to have a unit that is can be applied anywhere. So that's why they use mass, not uh, Newton. Eh? So mass kg, and then m is uh, for the distance. Eh? This is length. Uh, second for time. Uh, mole for uh, mole for apa? What is mole? Mole. What is mole? Afi, Afi ya. Afi ya. Adi pilih saya. You adi pilih saya. Mole apa? Ah? <laughs> <laughs> Mole is basically a uh, amount of substance lah. Amount of substance. Substance. Okay, uh, for temperature lah. For temperature, empire for uh, for the, the amount of current. Current. Uh, cat candela. This stand for candela. Is for luminosity. Normally, when you buy something like a projector, you can see the the bright light. Sometimes, if you open the light, this brightness will be fade. Okay, so in order for good projector, normally they have high luminosity. You can even uh, pancha apa pancha. Project a very clear and clear image, even though you are outside uh, where there are sun there. So that's uh, they they measure with candela. So this as a unit, but normally when you buy that thing, they they call it lumen, L U M E N, lumen. It's just uh, that's not SI, but it's just uh, any word lah. It's like kg is used for mass, but people can also use uh, pound. If you go to Brit uh, Britain, they use pound. Can I get a pound of water ah, like that? They don't talk kg. If you go to US, they don't use uh, meter. They use feet. How many feet? Uh, whatever, whatever, and that's on lah. So that is the base uh, unit. Normally for your uh, this course, uh, this, not course uh, this uh, your degree as a biochemical biotechnology, you mostly deal with few things only: kg, time, mole, temperature. Temperature normally uh, temperature also lah. Uh, this for electronic uh, department, that's normally rarely lah you use. So one, two, three, four, five. So that five that is normally you use, and Seven is the basic lah. This uh, seven lah. So, tak perlu lah ni. So, I want to talk a little bit about mole. Because this, as a chemical engineer, this is important lah. Mole is a mole of substance lah. What is mole? What is mole? Siapa tak tanya lagi? Siapa belakang tu? Ha? Oh, you know saya eh? FYP know saya tu. Uh, okay, Asfah. Mole apa? Tak dapat jawab. <laughs> you macam you online. <laughs> tak, tak. Mole, mole, mole ni apa sebenarnya? What is mole? 
Definition of mul. Yalah, kamu assessment tapi apa tu? Yalah, definition betul lah tu. Tak salah. Tapi uh, if uh, people ask you give me one mole of water. Ha, how? Macam mana? Okay, uh, if I ask you now, give me one mole of water. How much water you give me? Uh, six point zero two six. They have something uh, related to Avogadro number. Eh? This is an uh, Avogadro number. It's six point zero two two times ten to the power of twenty three. What does it mean if I said I want one mole of water? You know, water is this right? Water you have? Ni apa? Eh, bukan. Water O warna. H2O, O warna merah H warna hitam Okay You know this is molecule of water, H2O So when I said give me one mole of water You need to give me this amount 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 Of this molecule It can be anything, it can be atom For example, let's say I ask you give me uh, one mole of gold Gold is not molecule eh? Gold, if you look under microscope is atom by atom, atom by atom. It's not um, connected with the covalent bond. This water molecule you learn in organic chemistry is connected with the hydrogen bond. Eh, no, they're connected with the covalent bond, meaning that they share. They share the electron. But if you look gold, metal, they don't share the electron. They just, if I said gold, they are like gold, gold atom, gold atom, gold atom. They're not sharing the, the, the atom. So this water molecule, so I need this mass of water molecule. So now, <coughs> bonus time. Somebody, volunteer, come in front and show me the calculation of how to give me one mole of water in real life. Because this, you, how you want to give it? How, how much gram? How, 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 what is the mass of one mole of water? Anyone? One point, ah? Huh? Come, can you the Uh, mana you can have you can have uh, calculator uh, uh, by the way always bring calculator eh? hmm, tak bawa calculator siapa ada calculator anyone have calculator ha. nanti you send it test eh? <laughs> apa pun jadi saya tak bertanggungjawab lah. yeah, it's okay doctor I, I forgot how to calculate but I remember some ha, tak apa idea is also okay it's not necessarily about uh, calculation it's about you show me the idea, and then if the idea is okay, then it's okay, you get mark. How, uh, the question is this, how can you give me one mole of water in real life? Okay, in real I, life. I only remember this one. And not enough for one point. <laughs> not enough for one point. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, yeah, you have to measure against uh, one twelfth of carbon twelfth. Uh, okay, one. and suddenly they are carbon twelfth. <laughs> okay, uh, that uh, one twelfth of carbon twelfth is what? One the molar, molar mass of yeah. and then. Ah, it's easy. Yeah. It's easy. It's easy to 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 sit and listen, but it's difficult when you try to do it yourself, right? So still cannot wear one mark. Uh, one mark, no, eh? because doesn't solve the question. The question is this: How you want to give me one mole of water in real life? If I ask you, give me one mole of water. So in real life, normally you want in gram, right? You know in gram, it's much more easier. So how to convert that? So anyone? Okay. So this is type of the basic question. Eh? Basic question that normally mm, people, uh, people, most of people, they, 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 they struggle. Not struggle lah. I mean that if you know, you don't struggle lah. It just this is the type of basic question that you need to keep in your mind because your chemical knowledge is basically about that thing. Huh? Continue, continue. It's okay. So I just the bell. Okay. So anyone want to go? Anyone? That's right. Huh? Okay. 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 And then done. The question is very simple. Give me one mole of water in real life. 
give me one mole of water in real life. This you should know because you learn the, uh, you learn organic chemistry or general chemistry in matriculation and so on. Uh, so that's why I focus on mole because mole is useful lah in your life. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so uh, this is the correct answer lah. 18 lah. So meaning that, uh, put your name. I need to put your name. Uh, siapa? Afik. Afik. Afik and Sumayat lah. Sumayat. So that I remember. Okay. So basically the idea is that one mole of water. When you see on periodic table lah. Periodic table. If I open the periodic table. Periodic table sekejap lah. Eh, periodic table. P table. Hey, ada internet. Hmm. Tak buka ni. Okay. Okay dah. I connect to the internet first. Okay, when you see on periodic table, that's it's like an alphabet of the material uh, that you found in 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 in, in, in this in the universe lah. So um, I. Normally I go to this thing, PT table, eh? so it's interactive uh, periodic table. So there are a lot of things you can do here. For example, you can see, you can um, what we call, you can sort it based on what we call whatever discovered when. So you can see uh, the, the the amount. So you can just somehow uh, see the first uh, element that is found that is uh, discovered, not discovered. I mean, uh, isolated by the human is this thing. Ferrum, copper, zinc, and remember, uh, stone age, after stone age, there are bronze age and whatever. That's why you get this thing. Eh? That's why this discovered early. For example, you can see here, year 1730 CE. So, before this, at this time, at 1730, no one knows about other things. Okay? I mean that they, they don't isolate it yet. Okay? So, over time, then you can see uh, something on... The, the, the scientists uh, know uh, what is the the element and so on uh, until now lah. until now we have 118 lah. 118 element this element is what makes the material in your life lah. not all element is natural up until 19 only 1900 left below 100 normally it's natural occurring element after 100 like this it's not natural occurring, meaning that uh, scientists synthesis it in the lab. Okay, so whatever you see here is what makes matters lah. Even water, you have H two O. So if you look here, O is eight. Ni apa ni? Oh ni tahun. So saya akan tukar bahagian yang nak nak pergi yang best ya. How to go? Not to. Uh, modulus density, conductivity, melting point. How to go to the basic electron series? Ah, uh, like this lah. Okay, so you can see here. Can you see at the back? Uh, Hashim, nampak? Tak nampak? You cannot see right? Difficult right? Okay, this is a 19 lah. Eh, 16, 16. Below this is 16. So this is the weight. When you see the element, and then below that, they are the weight. Okay, the weight. Uh, uh, the weight for one mole. So if I ask you, give me one mole of oxygen, you give me 16 gram. So that's what does it mean? Siapa nama? I want to say about this one C, one over 12, carbon 12. That is uh, basically atomic mass unit lah, EMU. Uh, similar to this lah also, but uh, that uh, I, I don't want to go to detail about that. Why is one over 12? But uh, for now, you should know that. Whatever number here is the amount of the gram for one mole. So, because H2O, the molecule of water is, there are two H. So, you see the H is one gram in order for one mole. So, you need two H, so two gram already. You add with the base 16. So, you get 18 gram of mole. Okay. So, similarly, in the question, in the uh, exam, whatever I can say you, like this. Uh, 
in front of you there are 200 gram 200 milliliter of water so how mole in that thing how mole what is the mole of that water okay so now you need to know about how to convert from milliliter from milliliter to gram to mole because in order to play with mole mole and gram they are interrelated you know the the the, the weight of the atom itself huh? then you get the mole huh? you get the mole uh, you need to convert from milliliter to gram to mole and this conversion the the milliliter is basically the volume so this volume in order to get to mass you basically need to uh, include the density because density density this density is basically uh, volume over mass huh? mass of volume over mass volume over mass or mass over volume mass over volume right mass over volume because the density of water because i talk about water right because the density of water is 1 that's why 1 uh, and then and this is 1 so density of water is more or less the same lah betul ke ni density kg per salah kan ni because density is Meter kot Centimeter tu apa Kilogram per meter ha, Betul lah Mass over volume lah So basically If you have like uh, 100 Because water uh, Density is 1 That's why When I said uh, Give me 100 uh, gram of water You can just simply Pour in the Graduated cylinder 100 ml Because um, ml 1 Because the density is 1 so that's why it doesn't affect lah. But if you try to, uh, you cannot correlate the volume, the volume to gram for something like ethanol because it's totally different, a little bit different lah. Because the density of ethanol is less than water, so it's less. So there are some uh, difference lah. So that is uh, basically the idea of molar. So hopefully you should be able to what we call to 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 deal with this mole uh, conversion and so on okay i can also ask you like this given like 200 gram of water in front of you tell me how many molecule h2o molecule inside that so basically you multiply with this lah because you know what uh, let's say i have this 200 gram 200 ml of water the question is how many h2o inside it so in order to answer this, what you need to do, you need to convert into gram first because uh, uh, density for water is 1. So 200 ml equal to 200 gram. And then you need to find the, what you call, the equivalent mole. So how to get it? So you have 200 gram, you time with the water molecule. So you know H2O is 18 gram per mole. What does it mean is that um, for one mole, for one mole, you have 18 eh? 18 gram H2O This what, what does it mean lah? In one mole One mole of water You get 18 gram of H2O So now you can cancel out lah The what we call the The, the, the unit So gram and gram So divide lah 200 divided by 18 berapa? Rohani 200 divided by 18 How many? 11.7 So this 11.7 You have mole So mole of H2O So 11.7 mole One mole you have this 6.022 times this So you time lah uh, That amount 11.7 Times 6.022 Times 10 to the power of 23 So you know the amount of water molecule in 200 ml uh, for 200 ml so that's how you convert the thing lah so that is the base unit lah that's the base unit okay okay lah? okay so so i go uh, quite a length here uh, because uh, as you see uh, just now uh, some of you can some of you forget it's not like they, they can't but it's just they forget maybe so you should know the conversion of mole to gram and to ml because this uh, the thing that you normally use in your chemistry life lah. Even though later on you might say Oh I want to work in non-chemistry thing 
but in life, you still deal with chemistry when you are in the kitchen and so on. So maybe it's good for you to know, to remember at least this basic, basic thing. Lah. Okay, so that is basically the, what we call the, the, we call it the SI base unit. Unit, eh? they are seven, eh? seven SI base unit. From this SI base unit, they are derivation. You can derive many more unit, for example, Joule, Watt, and then Coulomb from this SI. I give you the sample example. Lah. For example, pressure, uh, derive uh, SI derive unit. Example is pressure. Eh? Pressure. Pressure. So, pressure is basically what? What is pressure? Force over? Force over area. Okay, force is what? What is the equation for force? F. So, force, you know F equal to MA, right? So, you know this is mass, this is acceleration. So, mass is basically kg, and then A is acceleration, M S negative 2. Okay? And then area, you know it is meter, right? Meter squared. Okay? So, this, you see this pressure is derived from this. The length, the mass, the what we call this uh, length again, and then the time. So this is what we call the derived unit of SI. So at the end of the day, if you try to combine these things together, you get what? Kg per meter m negative m oh m m negative one and then s negative two. Okay, so this is the unit of tol. So this is the unit of pressure lah in SI. Normally you heard about what? Pressure normally when you uh, uh, sometimes you heard something like PA, Pascal lah, Pascal. So this is basically the unit for pressure, but not SI. It's just the Pascal is basically this lah, mega Pascal, whatever lah. So this is the SI unit. So um, you also heard this about uh, PSI. You also heard about heard about the what else? Tor, tor, whatever like that, right? Tor. What else? Huh? Bar. Bar. So how to relate this thing? How to relate all these thing? Pascal, PSI, tor, bar. Ratio. So it's just like you come. It's like a currency lah. Uh, 6 ringgit Malaysia equal to 1 pound British sterling. So it's just like that. People love to play around. I mean, every country like to use their own unit, uh, whatever. So it's same like pressure lah. So, but basically all this thing is basically the idea is that force uh, over area lah. Pressure over this thing lah. So, uh, um, Okay, one Pascal, eh? Pascal, if you go to Wikipedia, they, they will tell you it is what? It is a Newton per meter squared. In the Wikipedia, they call one Pascal equivalent to one Newton per meter squared. It's not the same as this, right? It's the same, but uh, this Newton is basically anilah. Uh, because the F itself, the F itself is a Newton, lah. F Force is a force itself. It's a newton lah. The other, okay, ni lah. The other name for entire thing is newton lah. Newton. So this is a force, basically newton lah. You need to take into account the mass and acceleration. So the other name for this is newton. So that's why you can see the, not the complexity, meaning that the, the interaction between all these things, uh, you need to be uh, familiar enough lah. For this thing, okay. So, um, how much uh, you heard a lot about bar, right? How much one bar? What is one bar? How much is one bar? How much is one bar? You heard right? One bar. You you, you always heard about one bar, bar bar lah. Is a unit. How much is one bar? 
0 point 0 point 1 atm 10 bar is 1 atm uh, basically a bar is basically same like uh, what we call uh, one one lah basically one bar equivalent to 1 atm uh. 1 atm meaning that atm is basically atmospheric pressure you know now you you don't feel the pressure right but actually the air pushing you down now the air pushing you down you don't feel it because you are adapted to it that's why when you go down because the pressure the atmospheric pressure they they have some what we call some relation uh, not it's correlated with the the depth at uh, the height so if you go down the sea you can uh, suddenly uh, feel that the what we call your body is crushed because the pressure coming you have this, your body so this rohani so the pressure will what we call press you but now still happen the pressure from the top you you remember on the top of you they are ud uh, udara apa air 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 hempap apa hempap air squish squish you down now but you don't feel it your organ because your organ inside your organ they are water right they try to uh, push away push outward lah so it's balanced but the pressure one bar is quite high lah one bar is quite high lah uh, to give you the idea lah about one bar eh. you don't feel it because is you adapted for it but one bar just give you the idea ada air siapa ada air anyone have water water ada water tak ha okay i have this thing lah so this is a just put a, just a little bit little bit only so that is a glass a uh, vial not vial glass bottle lah uh, okay lah Okay, so I put the water inside this. Eh? I put the water inside this. No, I don't want to put the water yet lah. <laughs> Later I ask you again. Eh? <laughs> so basically, it's empty bottle lah, empty bottle. And I have hammer with me. I have hammer with me. Eh? So if I try to to do like this, nothing happened, right? Nothing happened. Okay. So now I want to show you how strong is one bar. So put the water. Because remember, when I put the water on this, what we call, ah, let me nampak lah dalam tu. <laughs> saya tak tahu saya nampak. Saya tak nampak lah. Whatever lah. So, uh, uh, this is too much, but it's okay. So, when I put the water, you need to remember, they are air pushing down. No, air is pushing down. So, if I, I don't know whether, I <laughs> never try, but I hope it's okay. So, if I do like this, no, doesn't work. Too much, right? Because it must be very. Because when you do it correctly, because I don't know whether I'm doing it correctly or not, because it will break down. Eh? Doesn't work because this is like different. Ni plastik apa deh? Plastik ni. Silap ni. Plastik. Buat dia. Next class. So basically, what happened? What happened? If you do it correctly, eh? Sometimes you see uh, people use a soda soda bottle eh? soda bottle they have soda bottle like this soda bottle and then there are water here and then you try to sort of like give the uh, heat there so what happen when you hit when you hit this thing for a millisecond for a millisecond the the water the, uh, this this bottle will go down and then the water will somehow uh, Raise a little bit, right? For there are some distance, that some distance there, and then after a while, you can see the what we call the water goes down again. In that, the when you hit this, the water coming up, and then for uh, for a millisecond, it goes down back, right? When it goes down, so it basically what pushing it is basically the atmospheric pressure. So so uh, if I'm doing it correctly. This thing is enough to break the what we call the glass. But uh, today I I don't know because it depends on the uh, plastic also. I don't know this plastic or what. I think this is you know lah. Maybe this too small lah. Because it will. You know. Yeah, it's okay. That work. 
So that's uh, but the idea you know right? Maybe one day I will I will try be, uh, before we end this class this semester. That must be successful. Okay, <laughs> one day ah uh, to show you because theory is fine. This is what we call theory. Okay, you know the theory, you know the logic behind it, but until you see it, then you can more appreciate about it. Okay, so that that's about the the nila the what we call the bar. So you know the the strength of one bar Pascal. Sometimes you heard about megapascal or whatever. Uh, sometimes you see something megapascal, gigapascal, and so on. So that is basically uh, what we call the units. Eh? The units part. And then, uh, when we talk about the unit, you see something about... Where? Dah. Oh, it's uh, dah. Something when we talk about the mole just now, we talk about 6.022 times 10 to power of 23, right? So this is the mole, Avogadro number. So we talk about this. So you can see we use a notation here. This is what we call notation. The short hint, scientific notation. Eh? Scientific notation. If you don't have this thing, you need to write 6022 and then you have 23 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3. So you need to write this on your exam paper if you don't know about the uh, what I call scientific notation. I still make give you a full mark if you <laughs> write it correctly, but it's much more cleaner to write this thing. So that when we start to go to the notation part, eh? done, eh? this part, eh? okay, okay. So we have learned about the SI unit and also SI base unit. SI base unit and also SI derived unit. So we have learned today technology, application, base, SI unit, SI derived unit, SI base unit. And now we want to talk about notation. Ah, about notation. Okay, the notation. You have the computer, right? How many storage do you have in your computer, Umi? Ah, Umi. Ah. I mean, so how many? How much you can put in your computer? How do you know that? How? At the huh. Sticker. Sticker. How much? Do you remember? No. no. Okay. Uh, so normally, uh, when people buy computer, one of the thing that they look after is that the storage, the hard disk storage, lah. For example, uh, some computer have one terabyte. Some computer have one petabyte. No, not petabyte yet. But one terabyte of uh, uh, not memory, but the storage. So that mega, tera, peta, so all that is basically a shorthand of the notation. So let's talk <coughs> about that thing lah. Let's let lah ni. Tapi question boleh jadi killer eh. Because calculation, I can make, it's like mathematics. Sometimes when you uh, learn mathematics, math 1 eh. If you see when the, your lecturer teach back one, it's, it's like it's just something that you have learned in matriculation. But because mathematics is not memorization, the lecturer can create its own question, play around the question here and there, and that makes uh, the, the math course challenging. Because you cannot expect by simply memorization you can answer the question. You need to know, understand. So that's what I teach you today lah. Know this thing. So normally you have this uh, what we call. Let's say we use length, eh? length as a unit meter, eh? meter. So let's say this going up and this going smaller. Okay. So after meter going up, what do you have? Kilo. Huh? Before kilo. Before kilo, they have like a millimeter. Okay. Uh, Millimeter, millimeter, and then centimeter, centimeter. So this, let's say, this is the meter lah, the meter part lah. So they have milli, centimeter, and then what? Milli, centi. Eh, di bawah. Kilo kat atas lah kan? That's why tak payah pada ni. Kilo. And then, after kilo, mega, 
So this kilo, mega, and then giga, and then tera, and then theta. So I think for for normally for normal usage is anti theta is enough lah, because the highest uh, what we call the server when you store it, store something in what we call in YouTube or whatever, their server have this petabyte uh, of storage. It's uh, very big lah. Uh, after peta, I don't know, XR, I don't know. But up, uh, below meter, so this is what I call meter. Let's say this is the base unit. Eh. This can be anything. Meter, second, uh, kg, or mole, or Kelvin, or cat. So it doesn't really matter what you use. You can always use this. Even you can use the uh, derived unit, for example, Pascal. For example, you can say megapascal, kilopascal, gigapascal. So this is basically a sort of like a shortcut for you from needing to write all the zeros lah. So below is what? Going below. Tanya? Senti. Senti. Before senti, uh, they, actually they have the C. The C. And then? Huh? Huh? CI. CI. <laughs> the C. And then milli. And then? Senti, and then? Oh, senti, okay, okay. The other way around, so, yeah, that's why it's difficult when you impress. Senti first, huh? Oh, the C first. The C, and then senti, and then mili, and then? Micro, and then? Nano, and then? Pico, and then? After Pico? Uh, normally, anti femto lah. Normally, you, you uh, typically because in uh, research, normally they, uh, for example, laser research, normally they use a femto second, whatever. So, at least anti femto lah. So, you should know what does it, this mean lah. So, if this is 10 to the power of 0, 10 to the power of 0, anything power of 0 is 1 lah. So, this is 10 to the power of 3, this. Six is always uh, to the power of three, yeah. Uh, the, the the difference, yeah. And then this nine, ten power of twelve, ten power of fifteen, and this one is <coughs> what? Ten to power of negative one, ten to power of negative two, ten to power of negative three, ten to power of six, ten to power of nine, ten to power of twelve, ten to power of fifteen. Memorizing this thing. It's not enough. Huh? You need to know how to convert. That's far more important than memorizing. It. Everybody can memorize it. Everybody can Google it around. So it's not really much fun to what we call to sort of like uh, memorize this thing. Oh, by the way, there are one thing, one uh, sort of prefix. We call it prefix. Huh? This we call it prefix. Huh? Prefix. Something that comes before this. Okay. One uh, for this. Um, Chemistry or biology, they are one prefix that uh, people normally use is Enstrom. Have you heard about Enstrom? Where is Enstrom? Where? At where? 10 to power of? 10 to power of negative 9? No, it's not Enstrom. Negative 10. So Enstrom is here. This is Enstrom. Enstrom. So the symbol is A. So 10 to power of negative 10. So Enstrom. It's not uh, what we call the SI, the standard prefix lah. The standard prefix is this. This is standard prefix, the one in blue. So the Enstrom is normally used by biological or chemistry uh, because uh, it's uh, the, the, the length, the typical length of biological molecule. For example, <coughs> for example, H atom, uh, hydrogen atom, David, yeah? you have hydrogen atom. So you can see that hydrogen atom there, right? You can have the... Radius, right? Ah, so, radius, right? Picometer. Ah. So, that's why you need to know about this thing. So, the radius. Radius, ah. you can see all this color. So, you can radius for mana? 53. So, this two color. Ah, yeah. 53 picometer. So, how many astroms that? Huh. Huh. How many astroms? So, 53 picometer, how many astrom? 
Pastor Ojo P100. Uh, okay. what, what is the size? Okay, let's say this is hydrogen atom, right? Let's say we put it like this. How much this in Enstrom? How big is hydrogen atom? Let's say hydrogen is a sphere, let's say, let's say. Uh, in Enstrom. Tell me that. You have that thing, right? So how? <laughs> Uh, 53 is basically the radius, two radius, eh? not part, two radius. It's a radius. So the radius is basically 53. So the diameter is around, let's say, 100 lah. 100. 100 angstrom. So 100 angstrom, eh, 100 angstrom pula, 100 picometer. Picometer. So how many angstrom is that? One. One. That's why people normally, one angstrom lah. You calculate lah. So basically 100 pm time, uh, uh, normally when you want to try to do this thing to, to convert the way how you do it is basically first you convert this into uh, the, the, the prefix lah, this, this unit so 100 picometer is 100 times 10 to the power of pico pico is 10 to 12 right meter so make it into the base unit first and then you have this thing and then you times you want to go to Enstrom so you know Enstrom is here Enstrom one Enstrom is basically 1 times 10 to the power of negative 10 meter. So using this, you can cancel, cancel. You divide this and then you get uh, one, uh, one, uh, one, um, one strong. Lah. 10 to the power of negative is pico, pico negative 12. Lah. Okay, so basically you do this thing, you get one strong. That's why uh, normally chemistry, they use Enstrom because you see the size of a hydrogen atom is one Enstrom. Uh, and also uh, what we call water molecule this water molecule thing the what we call the the, the size of water molecule is around 2.7 angstrom like that so that that is uh the the, the 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 size itself this water molecule h2o hoo that's why people use angstrom you need to know angstrom is 10 for of the system whatever lah okay so now, um, let's say uh, bonus time. Okay, bonus time. Siapa nak? Um, I have uh, 2%. Eh? 2%. You have a phone. You have your phone. You have your phone. You have the phone have the thickness. Thickness. You have the length. Length. And also you have the width. Width. Okay. So I want you to convert the length of your phone in nano meter the width of your phone in angstrom and the what we call because we are in bio nanotechnology so we need to know how to convert into the small eh? so this going to maybe micro micro okay two percent anyone bring your phone and this is the ruler do it now anyone bonus person eh? bonus eh? anyone two percent you take your phone, you measure with this ruler, and then you convert into micro, angstrom, and nanometer. Anyone? One point, huh? That's big, huh? One point of, out of all the things. Anyone? Uh, Pembaris ada kat saya ni. Anyone? You need to do it now. You cannot write on the paper first and come in. You need to do now. Because if not, I will close the deal. Okay, anyone? Because... Uh, you need to be able to sort of like come forward and sit away, do the stuff. Think here. Of course, you can have a comfort doing it yourself first in your table. But then the real test in real life is basically happen that uh, immediately. You don't have time to what we call to write on the paper. So now come. Okay. And then Magad and Hakim. Ah, this is a thickness, width, width and then... Awal-awal, huh? agak-agak je. Ah, uh, megak sana. Hakim sini. Okay, this is a... Uh, tengok ni, ni, ni. Ambil guna ni. Okay, faster, faster. The rest of you, the rest also for you, while they are doing the thing. The rest also, please try. Eh? Because, think about it. This is the moment where you try. I mean, you will not go to... After this, after you go back to your dorm, it's not like you will try. 
you will just uh, close your notes and then wait for wait for what you call wait for next class and so on. So try in the class. At least you, if you are wrong, you know it in the class, and then it's much easier for you lah. So the rest of you, please, please uh, try for your phone lah, but no mark for you lah. Only for these two. If they are correct, if they are not correct, then still no mark because I only give mark if you're correct. This question, this type of question, have a lot. Uh, student make a lot of. I mean. Normally in my final exam or midterm, I put the question calculation like this. I can say like eighty percent of the student will make mistake here in conversion. Even though that's why this time I takes time to slowly uh, deal with this thing because it seems easy. Yes, it seems easy, but then when you try to do it yourself and the clock ticking during the exam, uh, that's different. Uh. When you are uh, uh, they have no pressure, time pressure. It's okay. You have Google. It's okay. But uh, now, okay. so this is the last part of our class. Lah. After this, we wrap up for this class. Hey, tak puati ya. Next time, Next time. Ah, huh. uh, this is a thickness. Where is the thickness? Where is the length? Where is the width? Oh, this Allah ni, ni dia benda sama ni. Ah, ah, ni silap. So like this, ah, like this. Dalam pun di nano, ah, and strong, and strong. Ah, pasal pasal, it's already uh, ten, eh, eleven, fifteen. So basically, I will wrap up now, ah. So basically, today you learn about uh, technology, and you know example of technology making paper, and you know all the technology must uh, focus on practical application. This application can be process equipment and also system, and this application will be based on the scientific knowledge. And to know about scientific, to read scientific knowledge, you need to know how to read it. So two things: units and the notation. The rest you need to remember, and the most important thing. You need to know how to use it.